good morning class with a new topic lesson number 4 working with tables so in this chapter we will discuss many topics we will cover many topics and the topics are suppose that the first topic we will cover as a right table We'll cover the second topic is of opening and existing tables. Table or database. Now third topic is editing records in table. Topic four: Hiding columns. Next topic will learn and hide the hidden. columns okay first topic is tables we will discuss about the table the second topic is opening and existing table or database third topic adding record in table fourth topic adding columns fifth topic unhide the hidden column okay and the next topic is Six. That is fridge columns. And next topic seven. And fridge columns. Next is. Okay, fill the word nine. Deleting a a fill. Next, okay. Now the next topic is deleting a field, and the next is a renaming a field. And next topic is moving. record okay so in this chapter in this lesson number 4 working with tables we will cover almost 11 topics and the all topics are related to the practical topics okay so main the first is as a table so discuss about the table what is a table and uh, why we use a table right after that the next of you opening an existing table means we discuss how we can open an existing table or database right now the next is editing records in a table suppose that you have already um 
make a one table and after that if you want to add it a new record in that table we'll discuss adding columns suppose that you have a multiple columns and uh, sometimes we want to hide any particular information any record any information of uh, employee or student in that case what we can do we can hide any column in the database unhide the hidden columns right after that if you have done hidden then you can unhide the columns okay after that if you want to see that uh, hidden column or hidden information right then you can open that then you can unhide that column right next topic is freeze column this is a very important also uh, very important topic in our database freeze column so sometimes we uh, want to freeze that means suppose that uh, any column you want to freeze uh, and if you want to see that column in, uh, uh, at the first place in the table then you can uh, then we can use a freeze column option and unfreeze option after that you want to unfreeze that field right then we will use unfreeze option inserting a field right after that if we want to insert any new field in the table then uh, we do this deleting our field in a database if you want to delete any particular field then you can use a deleting option so and renaming a field after that if you want to rename any particular field okay field name then we will use this option and uh, moving a record that means suppose that you have 10 or 50 100 records and after that if you want to move any particular uh, place any particular record right then we'll use the moving on record option so these are topics will covered in this chapter multiple tables and uh, almost the, all the topics are practical topics so uh, we'll discuss and we'll learn all the practical topic on the system and computer right all the topic I'll explain one by one and you can follow the all steps, right? Okay, now the first topic is on table. So, the first topic is a table. A table is a database object. We talk about a table. So, the table is a database object that contain the basic information a table is a database object that contain basic information it consists of rows and columns it consists of rows and columns and it is used to store information in an organized way right so we can say a table is a database object and that contains the basic information it consists rows and columns and it is used to store information in an organized way. So the ta table is used to store the information of a particular topic of an organization. Suppose that we want to store uh, information about students so we, then we can use a one table and that is a student table and in that table we can store uh, information of students and suppose that we want to store a uh, information about of about employee then we will use a employee table we will make a employee table and that table we can store a information of employees so the table is a database object so in that object in that table we can store a information and that information is an organized way means you can see as a systematic way all the data in our rows and columns okay using the rows and columns you can see all the information is a well mannered well structured okay and you can see in that table the maximum of 255 columns right if you are making a table so that in that table you have 255 columns okay that means you have a vertical information you have a 255 fields so that you have a 255 fields then you can store 255 types of information, details, okay, and unlimited rows. Unlimited rows means that you have a unlimited lines, right? So 
then you can store unlimited records already we have discussed the what is the use of uh, what is the use of the columns and what is the use of rows already we have discussed in the last class okay so we can say columns means you can put or you can store up info types of information right in the columns and records or rows means you can store unlimited rows or you can say unlimited records in the table example like this uh, we are making a one table here right and this is like as a student table this and this b1 like solid corporate like this is a serial number name and this and d will be like this so put that serial number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 we can use your student name Ajay Taran Pavan Vikash and Anjana Address is available So we have a one table and in that table we have stored and the table you have stored in details. Okay, so in that table we have a one, two, three, four. We have a four columns or we can say the field and uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have rows, 6 rows that means of records ok so in that table we have stored 6 records and we have our 4 fields that means 4 columns that means 4 fields so means we are storing 4 types of information in that table like uh, we have uh, we are storing the uh, detail of the table the uh, detail of the student so we have a student, we are storing a serial number, name, next is a name, next is a address and next is a DOB. Okay. So we have a table that is a student detail and in that table we are storing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 types of information. The first is serial number and the second is the name of the student and the address and the DOB. Right? So in table we can store detail of the student, the basic information of the students.
ओके